Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody, at the odd hours of the morning. This is going to be a reaction to the ROC versus Switzerland game. Sorry for the delay reacting to this game. This is a 5-2 win for the Russian Olympic Committee team as they were able to take down Switzerland uh, in this game, 5-2. And then in their second game against Team USA, uh, they were obviously not able to fare as well as, and if you want to check out that video on that, check that out on my channel. It'll be linked in the playlist for the Women's Olympic Hockey Playlist at the end of this. Again, I said in other videos, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget at the end to help us get the 200 or goal by the end of the video. But also, I'm not, I'm newer to watching the women's games, so I don't know the ins and outs, so I just love doing reaction videos for you all and talking about the great sport of hockey as a whole, no matter what league and what division it is. And I figured I would hop on to start. Uh, doing that more, especially when it comes to the Olympics, uh, for both ends of things. But let's get uh, right into it. The uh, Russian Olympic Committee um, in this game, uh, Brandley uh, played solid again for Switzerland. Um, and then for the Russian Olympic Committee, uh, Sarah Konin, I think that's how you say her name, um, the goaltender for Russia, uh, she played an absolutely, Sarah Kina, excuse me, not Sarah Konin, Sarah Kina um, played a very, very good game again. she the, the way that she seems to be zoned in, again, I'm new to the game, but just from watching a few games and catching highlights from the World Championships of the years past, um, <clears throat> seems so zoned in with positionally and uh, so tuned into where she is in terms of the post and everything and how much space she's leaving when it seems like the guy's going to favor the blocker side or the glove side. Anticipation and positionally, both of the goaltenders of this game, Branley and Surakina, seem very good at the problem with Switzerland compared to the Russian Olympic Committee. They don't have as good of the overall um, jam defensive style that the Russian Olympic Committee can play to then just immediately turn the play back to their offensive skilled forward and then get going. But um, Switzer, um, Switzerland gets it back on the power play uh, with a snipe. Um, when it came to Switzerland, as um, when it came to uh, Russia in this game, they opened it up by jamming away in front on a goal, and then Switzerland got it away with, or got it back with a snipe on the power play. Excuse me, and then ROC got one to dribble in for their second on a shot off of a shin pad um, for the Switzerland player, which is a very unfortunate play for the Switzerland defender. That shot wouldn't have probably went in it. Brandley seemed to be in a good spot that makes that save, and then it goes off the shin pad and goes in. That's just an unfortunate uh, play that you can't really do a heck of a lot about there. And then Switzerland tied it on a shorthanded thing that you would think would give them a little bit of momentum in the second period. Shorthanded, they tie it. But then after that, it was all the Russian Olympic Committee in terms of the goals. They were able to start pushing the play. They slammed one in from the point to me, uh, and then never look back from that. That's what I put in my game notes here that I have for the game. They slammed one in from the point and then just never look back from that beautiful slap shot goal uh, that they had to make it 3-2. And then there was beautiful passing on the 2-1 and one, um, for that goal as well, which made it 4-2. And then uh, Bolgariva, I, I, I use, again, I'm not the best with these um, names, but she was able to um, make it, uh, five, yeah, Bolga Riva, I think that's how you say her name, she was able to make it, um, the four, or the five to two, excuse me, uh, game by being able to get that on a five hole, as before, she obviously was able to have the beautiful passing on a two and one to lead to her goal, then a beautiful breakaway five hole goal, so the Russian Olympic Committee, after having a back and forth game with Switzerland into the second period. Once they got that slap shot goal to make it 3 uh, 2, it was just a different game at that point. Where that's why I would say <clears throat> um, Shabanova, I think is how you say her name, uh, she would have to be one of the players of the game, Anna Shabanova, because she was able to score the goal from the point, slam it home. That really just kind of got the tied going completely in Russia's way after Switzerland tied it up shorthanded earlier in the period. That got, once that happened, they kind of played looser again. They got everything going their direction. She would have to be a player of the ne of the game. Then Bulgareva is definitely a player of the game. And then when it comes to Russia, it seems like this is going to be, well, the Russian Olympic Committee, the RRC, I should say, this is going to be a continued thing. Sorokina is going to be a player of the game because she's just that tight in net. And then you have to give hats off to Branley again 
from playing a good game and keeping Switzerland in the game when they're a team that tends to give up way too many high-octane chances in these first two games. They were able to battle a lot more in this game, and I, that's why I would give Switzerland probably a B- minus for their effort to, because of the way that they could battle. Uh, but obviously Russia gets an A. Uh, no, I wouldn't give them an A because they, they, they allowed them to battle back at the beginning. I would give them the B plus to the A minus category because they did let Switzerland stay in it there. But then once they got that goal again on the slap shot, everything went in their direction. So this has been a reaction to the Russian Olympic Committee beating Switzerland 5-2 to two in their first game. They lost to Team USA in their second game, but things can still go very well for ROC if they're able to come back out and respond and win the rest of their other game uh, in the preliminaries, of course. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy your day. And please subscribe down below on the sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Enjoy the rest of the Olympic hockey, everybody. Peace out.